Hello, everyone. It's Colleen Gallagher and Alexander May. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you are here watching, receiving from the Colleen Gallagher podcast. We are on episode 43. And we are, we release a new episode every single Monday. The intention with this podcast is to really combine business and spirituality and for you to have a safe space to feel like you are seen, you are held, you are expressed, you are allowed to be who you are in this world. Um, because both Alexander and I know what it feels like to have the other way when you feel like you can't really be who you are, express who you are and how painful that can be. Mm -hmm. And so Alexander and I did a um, podcast together back in 2019, it has about 60 something downloads in like two months, which is amazing. Um, we just started the podcast last year and we were like, we want to do something together to really collaborate and be able to share with you guys as we're starting 2021, what is healing? What, what's happening in the world? Where are we going? <laughs> like, well, what's, what's going on? And we felt like it was really important with both of the things in our lines of work to offer this space for you to set up a really solid foundation for 2021. Mm. And so there's the four episode series. This is the second one. The first one that we just did last Monday was all about what is the system? So understanding what is the medical system? What is the system of non-expression? What is the system of like slavery coding, poverty consciousness? And how do you sort of shift that to actually be within who you truly are? And today, what we wanna talk about is reinventing the system. So what does it mean to understand now from the awareness of what the system was going through chakras and auras and the Western medical field, your nervous system, to now reinvent the world to actually work for you. Mm. So before we get into that though, Alexander, feel free to introduce yourself. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> why do you exist? <laughs> why, why? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> My name is Alexander May and I am a medium psychic healer. Uh, some people call me a light worker. I call myself a light warrior and I combine all of those together to help people move through trauma, pain, and suffering into a space of strength and awareness, hyper-awareness, actually. Yeah. Love. And I don't think we asked last time, but for those people who don't know, what is a medium and what is a healer? So a healer is able to help facilitate someone through, for, for me personally, through clearing, uh, clearing, healing, and activation. So that's taking the trauma removing the trauma, taking a look at the pain that's underneath that, almost like scar tissue, and then the power that's already pre-existing within you and letting that come up to the surface. So I'm just a catalyst for other people. So if they want to change, it's more about them. And then I help facilitate them through Love that. that. Mm -hmm. And medium. Yeah, medium. Mm -hmm. The medium is basically able to channel energies uh, as spirits, gods, goddesses, um, all kinds of things through uh, the actual space around them. I don't channel them through that through my body though, because I don't want them inside of my body. They're like, mm. it's almost like if someone wants to speak to someone else, um, it's almost like I'll sit them right here energetically on the couch to speak to someone else, but not in here, if that makes sense. Love that. And so for <laughs> a lot of you on here, I never knew I was actually a medium. I was walking around unconsciously as a medium. So one thing we didn't talk about it before, but I, I want to share this because it's really important to understand as when we're talking about reinventing the system as well, as a human, if you're just walking through the system, so that means that you're waking up every day, you're kind of doing things, but you're not like super passionate or like you're doing it because you, you think you have to do that to get money, not because it's like your true creation passion. Mm -hmm. Um, you basically are allowing yourself to become available for entities to enter into you. Now, the way Alexander is saying this, he does this consciously. A lot of times, if you're listening to this, you are totally unconscious of the fact that there is entities coming into your body and literally moving for you. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if you know you're on like a long drive and like, or you're going to work in rush hour, and then you're like, I have no idea what I just passed or how many stoplights are, or like you literally get to work and you're like, whoa you were taken over. Mm -hmm. You were literally a medium in that moment, mm -hmm. unconsciously. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to understand this when mm -hmm. reinventing the system. And it's also important to understand that healing you guys versus Western medicine, basically Western medicine, right? You just go there when something's wrong. True healing is that you go, it's sustainable. You don't just go, you don't just say, Alexander, my life's really messed up. I mean, you can do that, but you don't, you don't want to really get to that point because it's, it's a journey. And, and when you really start to heal, it's more of like you said, an empowerment and activation and a, a true remembrance of what's possible for you. And so 
with that, we want to talk about kind of reinventing the system. Um, how do you do that? We gave you a lot of information last time of like, what is the system and then what's the true system? And so one thing I want to talk on, because I think a lot of times when people think of new age spirituality, I guess you could say, or just spirituality or anything that's like, we are sitting with our eyes closed, doing yoga, or like you have to, yeah, you have these bodies that are taking over you and you've got to have the whole thing. And what I want to make really simple is like, what is it like to talk to God without closing our eyes? What is oh. it like to have a spiritual experience without oh. having all that? Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So what happens is at a certain point after working on yourself with another light worker, light warrior, spirit, <laughs> psychic medium healer, like whoever, Tony Robbins, like whoever, mm -hmm. life coaches, you'll get to a point of where people think that they need to close their eyes to be able to connect to God. The thing is, is that after a while, you just start to realize that God is within. It's not outside, upside down, left or right. It's actually like a donut. Like when mm. the best way to describe energy in a way where it's easy for people to digest is that what goes out comes in, what goes down comes in. And so you're constantly creating a donut of energy around you once you get to that point of where you're working on yourself every day, like case in point, when I lose weight is when I am uh, expressing myself. Colleen is constantly burning off energy. Yes. So like it, we're both going like this, right? Oh my God, this is so good. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know what you're gonna say. Okay. And then, and then uh, so the cool part about it is that once you get to a certain point of where you're just revving energy constantly, you will start to see things around you and you'll start to understand that the veil between here and the ethereal realm actually doesn't even exist. It's more about your concept of reality. Once it's broken down enough, you'll start to see through the cracks literally with your eyes and your mm. third eye and whatever else is going on in here. Off to you. What I love that you said, so something with reinventing the system you guys, is really important and something that Alexander and I talked about a while ago, but um, two things, there's people who are listening to this, right? And you might be a little bit overweight and there's people who you might be like me, where you're like naturally just super thin and no matter what you do, you just kind of get super small. And um, the thing is really important to understand when you're reinventing the system <clears throat> and why it was important. We talked about chakras and auras and what you just said, there is always energy moving through you yes the work happens of how consciously you're allowing the energy to move through you because it's going to yes. be moving this way and it's going to be moving this way yep and so um people that have naturally a little bit more weight let's say it's actually because you two things there's a opportunity for you to feel safe in your body or do you feel safe to express yourself so mm -hmm. you've created in the form of fat has manifested because you need protection because you don't feel safe. The other thing is that you actually are someone who's highly sensitive person and an empath, and you actually are taking on people's emotions and people's energies that you, they don't even know they have, and you aren't even knowing that you're carrying other people's stuff. And so once you start to understand reinventing the system, you actually don't really need to go work out like really hard and train. Yes, you can do that, but you don't have to do that in order to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really important to understand that the other part with someone like me, which what, um, Alexander was mentioning is I'm someone who's constantly transmuting energy everywhere I go. Again, with like I'm a light worker, I'd say more than a warrior. So I like those two, but anyway, mine, I'm like constantly receiving light and then literally like pushing it out. Like I'm constantly like almost like a almost like a Ferris wheel kind of like you're, I'm constantly receiving and like pushing it back out. And so I actually have the opposite where it's like, I need to remember to eat more food <laughs> because sometimes I'm like, Oh, I'm not hungry. And then it's like, but Colleen, you're actually like channeling or pulling in or sh uh, receiving so much stuff and you're burning it so quickly. You need to remember you, you have to eat more to be sustainable. So we're talking about reinventing the system and God these are things that are happening. These are communication forms to God. You guys, these are ways to literally speak to the divine. These are ways to understand your body and how your body is a tool, a temple that God is always communicating to you. In. And you can always communicate back by literally just saying words of like, give me a sign and a book maybe will fall off the shelf or, mm -hmm. or tell me what to do. Like, I can't even tell you how many times, like I, 
I get messages where people are like, I was just in meditation. I'm like, give me a sign. And then your photo popped up or something like this. Like the universe is always speaking to you. And I believe really reinventing the system. Technology is such a crucial part, you guys, because um, technology, it's the first time that we have condensed light. And what is mm-hmm. God? It's something that's invisible. Technology is de- technically light that's invisible, but we've condensed it for us to see and feel and experience. And so through technology, we can, again, from our chakra system, we radiate out something new, which we allow new people to come into our reality. And so what I want to share with that, that's reinventing the system. That's really going into doing the work. And that's how you start to really communicate with God at new layers. Mm-hmm. I would say it. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else you want to add to that before well, we transition? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I also, uh, am, or I just ordered a bunch of, uh, essences from Pohala, uh, which my friend Keone makes, which actually goes into the other chakras. So in the future, we can we can even do a video on yeah. those. So there's always new systems that we are aware or not aware of that God or universe or source will put into our lives mm. to show us what we can do to upgrade. Yeah. yeah and the fact that you're here listening to this mm-hmm. is allowing you to enter in a new system. Mm-hmm. Enter in. Yes, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so anyway, (laughs) when you even think about this, right? This is natural. The ecosystem, (laughs) ecosystem. So you literally eco system. (laughs) Okay, so anyway, um, with the everything's a system, everything's a process, and you are either functioning in a system that's outdated or you're allowing to be upgraded or expanded. Mm -hmm. You listening to this. Is allowing you to be expanded it's allowing you to literally understand there's a different system that's in you to be radiated out mm-hmm. and why or where i want to transition into that is the importance of really understanding presence in the body so we talked about oh. weight so we talked about being a little bit maybe the other side of a little bit overweight and someone like me who's like okay are you eating enough like you have both of that but that still requires presence in the body yes. it's still requ- like i have to feel i didn't know before but i have to feel like okay, I'm feeling other people's emotions right now, or I'm in a grocery store and I didn't ask for energetic protection. And now I'm feeling really hungry. I'm feeling really like exhausted. I've got to tune in and be present in my body for that. So let's dive in there. So uh, the thing is, is that being more present in the body lets your body know that you're inside of it. And most people, most of the time, like I spent most of my life being up here mm. instead of being down here. Which Tell me is... what you mean. But let's define that a little bit. Okay, up sure. there, yeah. Go on. So up there is in the ethereal realm or out, not up there, but like in the ethereal realm because it's neither up nor down, left or right. Um, but not in my body. So Mm. what would happen is I would work on people like four or five times a day. And then I would like go work out or eat something, but I just didn't feel like I was in here. There would even be times where I would touch my body and I wouldn't even feel the nervous system relation. I couldn't even feel anything in my skin. And part of that is because I was choosing not to be present inside of this. Um, I started working with my personal trainer, Derek Jameson, who he's, he's so amazing. He's like, I have to say this, uh, cause he's really helped me a lot is he's, um, a past life regression specialist. So like, while we're in the gym, he's like, that's right, honey, manifest that chest. And I'm just like, yes. But like, part of the reason why I got back into working out wasn't just because of like, I wanted to be fit but because I wanted to be more present in here because I've been up here and outside of here. So most healers, psychic mediums are like that. They're all here in the third eye and they're in the ethereal realm. But again, like I said before, Mm. we always forget that it's not outside of us, it's inside of us. Yeah, and I- God. uh, What I love that you're sharing there, and I think it's really important for those of you listening, because I really didn't know this. And I don't know if, I don't think probably mentors said this to me because I don't know if they struggled. They probably weren't even aware at the time I was attracting those mentors, but most of us don't feel safe in our body. Mm -hmm. And what you just said, like someone touching like you was, I remember there would be times when like, if you're like on a date or something, like something would touch me, like I couldn't feel it. Like Mm -hmm. it literally would be like this, where like now it's like this, sensation like when someone enters a room I feel it on my body Mm -hmm. and it's really important to understand these signals 
that God is always sending to you in your body and in your mind. Like the thoughts, like what you said, even the metaphysical, if you're just in your head, like the thoughts you have are real. If there's a thought in your mind that someone comes into your reality and you're like, I don't like that person. I don't feel safe. I don't know whatever. Leave. Like those thoughts are real. And it's not judgmental. It's not whatever. It's your system trying to protect you from whatever it's trying to protect you from. You don't need to know always. You don't need to have the answer, but it, the thoughts that you have are real. They're not this made up thing. And it's important to understand that the thoughts and the feelings that are in you aren't denied because that is reinventing the system. That is actually the way that you're communicating with God. And that is the way you constantly do it without being like, I have to sit here and pray. I have to sit here and meditate. Like those are the things that just become a natural part of your life. Yeah. And so, um, the other part I want to go into that, I don't really know, um, I know a little about this. I'm not as well versed, but I'd love to hear your view on it because I know a lot of you probably on here have heard about this. It's a little bit of a stretch for probably most of you listening, but um, talking about ascended masters and guides. Oh, I love this subject. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so okay, so I have um, uh, what what happened one day was I was working on a client and um, they said to me well, what is it that's coming through you when you're uh, clearing out past lives? And I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, your voice is changing. Whenever you go into the past, it sounds like some sort of like Irish, Scottish, and they're like, what are you talking about? And it's like, all lifetimes, all dimensions, all realms, like, and I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. What What is that all about? And so I started to realize that there are certain guides that come through or ascended masters um, that are of some sort of like Irish, Scottish, like uh, British lineage Mm. that are coming through um, because I am very much like a sorcerer in certain aspects. Yes, Uh, Uh, (laughs) because I'm a sorceress. (laughs) (laughs) And so like, it makes sense that it was very easy for me because a lot of people don't know this about me um, that like I I practiced Wicca for a very long, long, long time and then took a break for I think like 10 years actually. And it's because I was able to access those energies because those guides were coming through mm-hmm. so strong. Um, now it's very interesting because they will come in and tell me certain things or warn me of certain things or say certain things that I wasn't open to before. Uh, because now I know that those, that, here's the thing, there's a difference between guides and entities. When mm. guides come through, they're giving you knowledge and information. Entities and demons are a little bit more lost and are looking for a place to kind of like burrow themselves into because they're lonely. Yeah. Okay. And one thing that I love that you said there, so how to relate this guys of how this could be happening to you right now and you're unaware of it. Mm -hmm. If you have like a really good idea, like your friend calls you and you're like, where'd you get that advice? It's such a good advice. Like, how did that happen? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. It just came through. That's a guide. Mm -hmm. That's an ascended master. Mm -hmm. And there's obviously way more we can go into this. I don't want to, I want to keep it very basic though, but yeah, yeah. very foundational, but, um, a lot of times it's funny. You said, because there's a, I, Okay, I have to say the story. So anyway, like I walk all the time, as I've said. And when I walk, I find pennies. But the other thing that's been really recent since I've lived in LA is that books are on the ground, like literally on the ground. And so, um, and they're like the same colors at different times. So they're just recently a Wicca, Wicca book. And I started like studying it and doing it. And so it's funny, you just brought this up because mm-hmm. I haven't told anyone, but anyway. So all these things like naturally, but that happening was like a guide. It's a message. It's the way of the universe, like guiding me in direction. Like don't when the universe is speaking to you like that, like the penny is not there by accident. The book is not on the ground by accident. The car accident, it did not happen by accident. Like these are all, where were you going when the car accident happened? What was stopping you? You got a flat tire? Where was the universe stopping you from going? Um, you got a speeding ticket? Why were you speeding? Where were you speeding to? And where is it asking you to slow down? Like these are all guides and opportunities for guides and ascended masters to come through you and speak Mm -hmm. the all other side is like i said we talked about in the first episode of like you don't remember things happening or you're doing things and then you're like what you were just taken over Mm -hmm. anytime you're numb and you don't you can't feel you don't know like you were taken over Mm -hmm. and it's okay i think there's people i mean i feel no matter where you are in your journey there's always an opportunity for deepening and 
greater expansion. There's always opportunity for something to come in you and take over, but it's understanding how to become more aware at a quicker rate Mm -hmm. to then have it be more consistent as a foundation in your life. Yeah. Your response, your response to things becomes faster because you're, you're, you're already aware of what has happened before or where you've done this before. And you're like, "Mm, mm, no, I don't want to do that again. I'm not interested in that again. Maybe not going to choose that again. Maybe not choose the abusive boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe just choose like love. Yes. And I'm not going to choose the push pull nervous system or like, yeah, I just want to choose safety. And again, if that, I think, you know, that's, I didn't even think about this. This is a really good point that we're making in rebounding system. The current system you're probably in, it's not safe. That's why it's like, COVID, stay here. Some states closed. Some countries, some countries are closed. Some are open. Okay, now we're here. Okay, now it's over there. Now we're, anytime that is happening, <laughs> that is the system that's not good for you. It makes me feel crazy just even hearing, hearing it. it. Like, <laughs> like, like you, you can't have, you can have restaurants open, but you can have stores open. But then there's open. people, op- there's restaurants open downtown right now. And, and then it's you, like, what? You, you know? can have a mask on in the store, but you don't need it in nature, but you do need it in nature, but you have to stand six feet apart, but then you can hug if you're in small gatherings that are under 10. And then it can only be before 10 p.m. or 5 a.m. or, uh, okay, the system is freaking. So this is how we reinvent the system from what we're talking about, (laughs) because this is like, really, if you think about it, there's just no logic. It really doesn't make sense, guys. Like what we're sharing, it makes a lot of sense. When you actually tune into it, it's meant to be easier. It's meant to be simplified. And it's meant to, like you said, not have you be on this constant roller coaster of things. Mm-hmm. So with that, do anything else with reinventing the system? No, I feel pretty, pretty, Wait. pretty great about that. Yeah. So uh, who are you? Where can we find you? And what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alexander May. And if you'd like to contact me on Instagram, it's Alex May today. That's M-E-I. Uh, and then my website is alexandermay.com. Again, that's mei.com. And then if you'd like to email me, it's magiclegato at g- gmail.com. That's L-E-G-A-T-O. Love that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you can share this, tag this with a friend who may need to hear it. Also for the month of January, um, if you really are liking this conversation, right now we're launching my eight-week manifestation course. Um, we go into a lot of this. So we talk about frequencies. We talk about energy. We go into really relating this into your body. So it's a really cool opportunity to work with me closely for two months and start your year off. And then the other thing with January that we're doing is my third book, An Uncompromised Life. You can pre-order it. It comes out on June 8th of this year, you guys, but you can pre-order right now for $22 or there is the um, package where you actually get um, the manifestation course, or you can get the full um, Uncompromised Life experience. And so when you do this, first of all, this book is medicine. It is a journey. There's no book out there like this. And it really is offering you an opportunity to receive answers to why did pain, trauma, and heartbreak happen in your life? Why? And how to heal from it, how to become empowered. So make sure to get that. It's 30 days. We want to sell 500 of them because it really helps with my, well, first of all, getting to you, but also my publisher, get this medicine into more bookstores for us to help more people heal the planet. So with that, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for tuning in to receive the frequency.